I will never ever see my baby again. All I have is memories, but I'm gonna let her memory continue to live to help other victims' families continue to heal. So hopefully this will never ever happen again. I'm my justice for my daughter. I'm the justice. I'm the one that stay out here all night to let you know that she's never will, will never be forgotten. John Alexander says that he stayed on K Street all night the night his 21 year old daughter, John Taya Alexander, was shot, asking for her to get up, but she never did. He did the same last night, sitting on K Street from sunset to sunrise by a memorial that he created for his baby girl who died a year ago today. And he struggled to leave that spot where his daughter took her last breath and hopes that every day is a reminder for the city to think twice before pulling the trigger that could take a life. And John says that he will forever be the voice for his daughter, but also for others who lost their lives. So I wanna go ahead and bring in our Luke Clary. He is at tonight's vigil and Luke, you were live to go first on the scene and it's been an emotional moment for so many families. What is being said tonight? Hi, Alex. Yeah, an emotional moment here for the families gathering together to mourn the loss of their loved ones. Uh, it appears that this event is starting to wrap up now, although I'm not sure if they'll remain here uh, in more of a candlelight vigil over the next uh, several minutes or half an hour or so. But in any case, um, we heard from some community organizations. We heard from the family of Sergio Harris, who was one of the men who died here uh, and what we heard were a lot of expressions of pain, of sadness and of actually frustration and anger as well. Uh, this family saying that they believe that uh, their loved one, Sergio Harris, has been lumped into uh, a narrative ar around gang violence rather than looking at this more as a, a mass shooting. And uh, the, just as, as more details have come to light, they feel that um, the compassion and the outpouring of support from the community has drifted away, Alex. And Luke, John Alexander, sorry, Alex, a victim's yeah. father, John, Te John Taya's dad actually, uh, said that he is the justice for his daughter in keeping her memory alive. Is there a sense of justice or change out there tonight? Yeah, Alex, so I asked Pamela Harris, the mother of Sergio Harris, what justice would mean to her? What would accountability look like to her? And would that include the conviction of the three men accused of committing the shooting here. Uh, she said they're gonna be convicted. That, that's what she believes. But the, you know, when it comes to a matter of, of justice here, uh, the issue that, she, that she's most concerned with is the, the concern around how her, how her son is being painted, the, the father of her grandchildren and the reputation here. Um, and, and just the, uh, the various community organizations saying that what really matters now when it comes to accountability and solutions is getting the funding and resources to uh, you know, those high risk communities, those communities impacted most by gun violence. Alex.